Y'all will join me for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. And you would bow with me for a moment of silent prayer. Amen. Thank you all for coming tonight. We have a few things to go through. And uh, we start off with by looking at the minutes from the July 17th meeting uh, first. Go to make a motion to accept these minutes. I'll second. Very fast. Any discussion? I think I just got these out of there. Second, and all those in favor and opposed, like sign. All right, motion passes. Thank you all. Now, moving on to the minutes from the special meeting we had at the cemetery on August 4th. I think we got a lot accomplished at that. Mm -hmm. At least got a, kind of a plan. Yes. I'll go ahead and make a motion to accept these minutes. All right. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Like sign? Thank you very much. Maybe pass around. Right now, looking over the financial statements. I hand it to you there to sign. Of these financial statements, you don't have one here. Should be right there in front of you. It is right there. I just the one room. Is that all there? You have to look through the pages. Yeah, it should be stapled together. All right, all right. You can pick one up and then yeah, go see, to the and then there's this for you to sign as well. There's two papers. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. I'll sign 
So they uh, <coughs> got the flood damage fixed and the insurance. Uh, they're going to start work tomorrow. And we'll let Jim do all the <coughs> all the updating on that. It's, uh, it's going to we're draining right now. We going to make a motion to accept these. All right. We'll second. Second. And we got a second from Commissioner Green. Any discussion? No. Okay. All those in favor? Motion passes. There's those. They have passed by the side. All right. We will move right along now to Commissioner Reports. Commissioner Green. You have anything for us? No, it's run pretty smooth. No one heard no complaints or nothing. So, okay, there's anyone here. All right, and uh, Commissioner Scott, I'll go with you to the cemetery. Uh, we had our special meeting at the cemetery on the fourth of August, and we all looked at the the new plot back in the back, and Frederica and Lee Congleton was there uh, to give us some advice since they know the, the procedures that, because we wanted to make sure we had a road where it would be easy for pallbearers, whatever type of, so we came up with a plan of the road to go basically in a circle around it, cut right through the middle with an access road to the center parts. So since it had already been surveyed, I guess we just need to, had the surveyor mark the roads. Yeah, mark the roads for us. And then Johnny had made a motion, I agree with him, that if we when we get the roads marked certain for certain and start mapping out the plots that we only sell those plots in four or four or more. 
until the other cemetery is full. You know, if you only want one or two, it'd be in the other part. So, and Dave was there at Richmond and he agreed with what we were looking at. So, I think that went really well. Yeah, very good. All right, uh, Commissioner Johnson. Well, uh, I think, uh, yeah, Jim, can tell you more I could. Well, uh, we'll do the living in the house. Uh, live station number one out here, edge of town, 421 North. We've got some issues out there. Uh, Jordan and I and others had the pleasure of spending most of our Saturday night out there this past weekend. Uh, we've got it back up and running. It basically, it went to ground and the cabin basically just welded itself together. Uh, it's all back up and running currently. However, there is some issues uh, with uh, some wiring going down to it. And uh, I've spoke to Todd about it. We, our electrician that we've had for many, many years has officially retired. I know he said that before. He said it 25 times before, but this time he actually turned his license. So we have to, uh, find somebody else to do that kind of work for us. And the Todd's reached out to a local person here, and as of today, he, he had not heard nothing back. Still. Uh, there is some issues with the station. Jordan and I and Todd are all aware of it. Uh, we can deal with it for a few days, but we don't know that long too long. So whenever we get some numbers back on that, uh, we'll have to pull a hammer on that and get it done pretty quick. Uh, and one of the things I'd ask for, uh, several meetings ago and uh, for the pumps and the what well, around your bail is the 15,000. Uh, we started on part of that uh, if you remember part of it was lift station number four at the nursing home was uh, doing preventative maintenance out there which is something we're not very good at. We started that this week. We pulled a pump out there. It's gone to be resealed and ironically it, according to the guy who the pump, it's got the original factory seals in it. That pump has never been pulled. And it's been sitting out there for how many years? Like 12, 13 years. Yeah. It's never had nothing done to it. And it's still pumping when it's left. Not real good, but it was pumping. Everything else in town is going fairly decent. All right, the plan. I received the permit back Friday to uh, drain that pond. I notified the contractor he is, he is going to start in the morning. In fact, he just called me. I think they're moving to put him in tonight. Uh, so as of tomorrow morning, there will be no access to the plant down there unless you're on foot. Uh, because they will be set in the middle of the road and have the road tore up. Uh, they're going to clean it out. All the gravel and everything went in from the July 3rd flood. And they're going to move it up to the upper end, and we probably got it to the back. We have to run on that for a while. But uh, other than that, do you have any uh, uh, estimation of how much time it'll take? You know, I don't know. I do know that it's the same contractor done it last time, and they'll basically work around the clock uh, because they know if it rains again while they're there, it's we're in trouble. Yeah. Uh, and what's something we still need to take a hard look at is doing something with that road going in. A two inch rain, we're going to be doing this again. Mitigation, yeah. Uh, that road, you all may not even be aware of it. Todd is, but Jordan is. That road's washed out probably a half a dozen times in the last few months. I'm just able to keep scraping that gravel, hauling in gravel before we drive over again. We've got to raise that road. We've got to get that elevation back to what we had pre-July 13, 2015, when the big flood took about three feet of the elevation road out. We basically it took three feet out up here and we built the road back down here and we've not done nothing with it since. So it's pretty clear if ain't gonna do nothing. It's been that long. 
we've changed presidents, we've done everything. I don't think they're ever going to do anything. So I think it's time we start looking at doing it ourselves. Whether we do little by little, yeah. Uh, a cheaper type rock. I mean, because what they were going to make us do was the most expensive way in the world to do so. Uh, we could get by a whole lot cheaper than what their estimates was. I think it's something you need to look into. Uh, as far as the bridge down there, the bridge is sinking more every day when we go across it. And uh, I guess that's, we're moving to the bridge after the road the way I understand it. Mm -hmm. Because uh, there's going to be, if the bridge survives, the road maintenance is going to go on. Then we're going to move to the bridge. If it doesn't survive, we'll move to it when we have to. Uh, and that could be long. Correct. Yeah. Other than that, we're still in compliance. Thank you, Jim. Do y'all have any questions for him? No, I don't guess there's any questions about it, but. <laughs> All right, John. Uh, I took a look at what uh, Jordan was talking about around the courthouse. Yeah. You got the pictures? I did. All right. And you can tell that some of these could probably get fixed pretty easily. Well, that's what we want to look like is that last one. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen pictures of what it did fix. They were good. Yeah, they were perfect. So I think we should try to get somebody uh, to go through and get it like that before the applicant. Well, I don't think what I was hoping to do that. Yeah. And I, I reached out to uh, a, few a few people. different concrete guys, and uh, none of them could get the work done that fast. Well, I mean, in that case, then we wouldn't want to start on it until but we could after. Have, we could get her done this year. Yeah. yeah. Or are there sunk too much there? Yeah, the past those pictures. Well, there. if you can see here, this is rock. Yeah. So it's basically creek rock. You can kind of see it more in this picture. And it's just like chipped away over the time and something in. And we want it to look like this right here. Yeah. Now it's got the edge. So, but this is what it looks like in some of the other areas. And we want to fix that. <coughs> and it'd be really nice for like when we have an apple festival next year or whenever. You're talking about putting new curves? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can look at the pictures. If you ain't gonna get a good look at them, just put them all uh, back in order. Uh, what we can do on this is uh, advertise for bid that uh, we have this project. We'll put something in the paper. Maybe some other concrete guys will see this. And uh, You know, the, the specs wise, I think we need to have a standard set of specs. So before we uh, before we do put it out for bid, John, maybe we could Just measure like that. We could measure, you know. Six, six, six foot curve or six inch curve. Six inch curve, curve. yes. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what that is there in front of units. Yeah. I just uh, look like that's just done with standard curve and concrete. So it should be pretty easy. Yeah, the excavation of it, the pre preparation yes. is going to be expensive. That's going to be the expense. Yeah. This, are we required to take this go this far on um, uh, uh, improving it? I know we take care of it when we grade it and everything around during the snow time, but are we required to take that much and do that much work? We are required, but it's kind of our duty to take care of our citizens. Because that's most of the, you know, that's county. Or that's where they're at. No, no we're, what we're looking at is in the city, city part here. Oh, you, won't, you ain't going in the city part of it. It's just yes. on the other side. We're going to be on the city the other part. other side, okay. We'll be on the city part. Okay. Yeah. Like, like there in front of Eunice Blacks. Okay. That's oh, where yeah. we did I that years ago. Taking the close sides or not there. No, just on this, oh, just, on, just on the, on the uh, left side. Okay. side, yeah, or the right side, oh, whichever way you look at it. But it's on the city yeah, side. Yeah, okay. The biggest thing is it's a stormwater issue. 
Yeah. Because we want to wrap that to go into the Yeah. And hopefully a contractor we would get would, would recognize that and to go that way. Right now. Did you see the picture too? I mean you know what it looks like, but if it was put back like it was, I mean, I think you're going to need all your stormwater because it goes from there. I think it goes in that ditch across from Tammy's house. Yeah. Yes, it does, right up here. And from the front of my house, it goes down the west square. Now, mine goes down to the corner of Spring West, and then it goes down parallel with West Street, and then the road kind of dips down oh, yeah. at the end of uh, Lawson Avenue. Yeah, it's right there by Miss Pennant's place. Right. Well, so you guys want to do that? Get bids on it? Yeah. For the next meeting? I go ahead and make that motion and get the bids. All right. Advertise for bids. I'll second. All right. Uh, on our money wise, what we have we got enough money in the room? We don't have the bid yet, so we don't know. Yeah, that's well, true. Uh, we ain't got a whole lot right now. No, but we need to. We need to know how much money we have. Yeah. I mean, how much the bid is okay. before we before we even do the work. Okay. Because it may be under. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, moving right along. Uh, uh, can I add something to John's part? Yeah. On sidewalks and streets, I'm probably not gonna be real popular as soon as I can get to it. I was planning on having it done this week. And I Y'all probably gonna hear about it. Uh, all these trees that's hanging out over, and I'm sorry, there are some awful expensive pretty trees and bushes that's hanging out over the sidewalks and the streets. They're gonna get cut. Okay. And uh, I hope y'all can grab a sniper car. It's gonna be coming. Because there's, We're not gonna be under it. They're gonna, they're coming out. So we've, well, got, we've got some sidewalks. You can't walk on you got to walk around on that. And I feel like the people that are in those areas, the sidewalk is outside their property, should yeah. have taken care of that and yeah. kept them from... There's several areas around your house. Yes. Okay. And, uh, you know, maybe we can coordinate that, that the commissioner over the streets and sidewalks is with you to help. I can't say it. A great idea. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It'd probably help you out a little bit. I used to cut them in front of Rams there, all them, and up Bobby True's where he's every year. But when we get them guys, we look at parking. <clears throat> parking on the street parking. On the sidewalk. Sidewalk parking. Yes. Sidewalk parking is getting out of hand. And thank you for bringing that up, Jim, because Very I good. almost forgot it. Yeah. There, there is a place, uh, gosh, I don't remember the address. It is behind uh, the Marathon Station. There's a tractor and trailer that, that parks there on the weekends. We have a piece of a sidewalk that goes across that driveway. And he, he has caused one of the pieces of sidewalk, to, well, actually two, because now it goes up like this. So there's a lip. Uh, when I got the call about it, I called the gentleman who owns the property, and he has still not called me back. And I'm sure that he knows what I want. Um, what I would like to see done, and, and Jim and I have talked about this, uh, is to take that sidewalk off their driveway. And, uh, you know, we're, We're not in the rental business, we're not in the landlord business, and what these landlords do and who they rent to uh, is out of our control. But driving across that sidewalk with that uh, great big semi-tractor is not good for the sidewalk at all, but the guy's got nowhere else to park it. And, and Jim and I talked about just going in there with the, with the, uh, the forks on the tractor and just taking it out, putting some gravel back down in the empty hole, and, and get that sidewalk off there. Yeah. We've got a cone sitting on there, it's by the handrails, and uh, Jim, we can take care of that in the afternoon, couldn't we? Yeah, it won't be no problem. One thing I would ask, 
and I have no idea. Are we going to be violating any handicapped things by by taking out that side? By taking out that piece, if, you, if somebody's coming down through there in a wheelchair and they don't have right? concrete, I mean, I don't know it's even an issue, but I think that's right. We are asked before we just take it out. Yeah. Yeah. And it should have really never been there to start with. Right. Because it was poured over a driveway. Uh, all right, Jim, I'll, I'll look that up. Uh, before we start to work and uh, see where we go on that. Yeah, like, as far as removing putting on gravel, man, we can do that basically, not no cost, but very little cost to the city to do that. Right. If we can do that. Yes. And I'm sure we'd have to coordinate with uh, the state barn since we're right there on the state right of way. Yeah, we're on right of way. Yeah. And they may actually know. Uh, what that law would be. Yeah. And there may not be any law. Right. Well, we're, we're it's into best to, before best we to look it. into it. Yeah. Best to look into it first. All right. Uh, we will move right into the second reading of the ordinance to amend uh, the regulation of alcoholic beverages in the city limits of Bedford. And I'll let Joanne have a floor. Sure. Um, so the, the point was that uh, we wanted them to be able to uh, do external um, advertising. So I'm just going to read the amended one, which means I'm going to leave out all the things that we're going to take out. <clears throat> City of Bedford, Kentucky. What is the ordinance number? Do you know? It is uh, number six. Okay. Series 2018, an amendment to ordinance number one, series 2017 relating to the regulation of alcoholic beverages in the city of Bedford, Kentucky. Display of printed warning, advertising, and other signage. All signage shall be in compliance with any and all other existing rules, regulations, and ordinances of the city of Bedford. B. No flashing lights shall be used to illuminate the exterior of any premises licensed under this ordinance. C. Any advertising by any licensee under this chapter shall be in compliance with KRS 244.130 and regulations promulgated thereunder. D. No licensee shall publish or display advertising that is false or misleading, nor shall any licensee publish or display advertising that implies the consumption of alcoholic beverages is fashionable or the accepted course of behavior or advertising that contains any statement, picture, or illustration implying that the consumption of alcoholic beverages enhances athletic prowess, whether or not any known athlete is depicted or referred to, nor shall any licensee publish or display advertising that encourages intoxication <clears throat> by referring to the intoxicating effects of alcohol or the use of terms such as high test, high proof, or extra strong, or depicting activities that tend to encourage excessive consumption. E then becomes licensee may erect one banner that displays a particular brand, brand of alcohol beverage on the outside of the building or the property. F, any off-premises signage advertising the sale of alcoholic beverages. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, off-premises, that's right. Off-premises, so they can do it on their premises, is prohibited. Okay, G. Signage, which refers directly or indirectly to alcoholic beverages, will be limited to two signs that may be displayed from the inside of the window or interior of the business. Additional signs, banners, posters, or other type of advertising which refers either directly or indirectly to alcoholic beverages may be displayed on or may be visible from the exterior of any premises licensed for the sale of alcoholic beverages. And then we go to H. It shall be unlawful for a licensee under this chapter to distribute or cause to be distributed any handbills, circulars, or cards as a medium of advertising alcoholic beverages. Um, then number two, the alcoholic beverage control ordinance may be waived, altered, or suspended only by a change of ordinance. And uh, number three, this ordinance shall become effective, actually this amended ordinance shall become effective after two readings of publication requirements have been met. And the date of the first reading was 
I want to say July 17th. Yeah. It, it was July 17th. Okay. And then today, mm -hmm. it's the same. All right, do we have any discussion about that? I, I can just tell you this comes from uh, a couple of the businesses in town have, have requested to have more than one sign out. And uh, one of the businesses, which is right in the center of town, uh, said he, he felt like people didn't even know because he's only got that one little sign. So that, that's how this amendment come about. Uh, let them advertise it. I think two is not going to be so bad. All right. Do I have a motion to accept it? I'll make a motion. All right. Second. Garrett. Second. All right. And this is a voice vote thing. Oops, Garrett. Tammy. Uh, I'm for it. John. For it. Harold. Yes. Newt. And motion passes. All right. Thank you all very much. All right, we'll move right along to uh, introduction of Debbie Cole. Debbie has been working on the cemetery maps for us, and she has them laid out over here. And uh, I think it might be better if we get up and look. Because some of these are really, really old. So these are at, in sections? Yes. You have a section. Uh, that's if you're standing out in the road facing the cemetery, that's on your left hand side on the roadside. Road that's where we start. This first one is? Yeah, that's a section. And any open spaces you see, those will be empty cemetery plots. Now, either somebody might be in them and they're just not marked, or um, there are some that people have bought up for family and stuff. But but there are pictures too, right there. Yes, there's a picture of every every cemetery plot, every headstone. There's a picture. And if I can't read it, I've gone on there, cannot read. Uh, so we won't have a name on it because we can't tell who it is. Tammy, didn't you say there was some way that we could clean that? You could keep it quit having cleaning? Just say something about that. Oh, uh, uh, him and I talked about it that day when I was in here. Uh, there's yeah. they, no there's there's an article kind of about a guy who goes through cemeteries and all those and he kind of stuff. But he was just using water and a little stuff. I know it was David I was talking to, David Richard. Mm. 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 Yeah, mm. Yeah, mm. Just a little right over here. They do it. The historical side of it. Oh, they will? We have okay. where we have it's Debbie is it close to five thousand? They have to come in and right going out. Oh, okay. What do it? It's, it's close to five thousand graves, isn't it? Oh yeah, every bit of it. Yeah. Seven lots years ago, four days. And you'll have a picture of every single one of them will be in file. Yeah, right. Uh, and as into row one, the section A, row one, you can pull the file folder out, and it'll have everybody's grave site picture in there. Where are you keeping all the files? Uh, right now, I've got a lot of them at home, and so I'm gonna bring them in because I have to have her print pictures off, and then I just sit down and write on all the pictures. What the picture will tell you what section and plot it's in, or what plot number it is. Been a lot of labor of work and writing. Very time consuming. Mm -hmm. yeah, somebody else in our room. Yeah, very. Is this helping Jennifer? Yes. And then she's got, and she'll have the, when it's completely done, she'll have the little, what I call the dipstick. And then with that, she'll have I this. To find the I can do that at my downtown. Uh, that way, if people don't look on Find the Grave, they'll be there. But they'll all be on this. And she'll have two copies of it. Yeah. And then she, plus she'll have them downloaded in the computer.
Yeah, I think this is uh, the bottom of A. This is the top of A. Yeah. I've tried to put them in order, sorry. <laughs> Things rolling up. Okay, what do I hit? Take a picture. Right there. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen those, but here's some of the pictures. Here's some pictures of the headstones. And there's one over there that's completely broken, and, and the whole front side of it's broke off. Yeah. Is it up in A? It's over it's in C. Old Mason side. It'll be all, over, all the way over at C next to the church. Uh, on A, too, that was falling off and stayed up against the, the base. Yeah, there's a couple of them uh, in each row that's like that. They're either they're they're very, very sideways. Old. Or, yeah, very old. And you almost don't want to touch them because you can make it worse. Right. C or B section seems to be the one with the most unreadable headstones. That's probably the oldest part. Yeah. Yeah. And now B is broke into two sections. Section one and two because the road divides down the center. So yeah. that front part's all one section here and the back part's all one section. And we should wait on our road workers. Yeah. All they have in community. I talked to them a couple weeks ago and they said they're working on it. Now I think if you just have some little sign. On each section, saying this is section A, section yeah. B, section C, and D. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, EF. Yes. Yeah, so for the back there, the back would be two sections. So that would be EF. Yeah. 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 So, about how much more have we got left to. I'm going to go. tr try to close it out as quickly as I can. I'm on the downhill side now, so yeah. I'm hoping by the end of uh, August, first week of September, I should. That's all. Awesome. D, I'm going to have to meet with the great kids over there because I've walked over there twice and I'm kind of confused as to where they're going with these roads. Yeah. Because what I think is a road. That's back at the gazebo area. Right, when I step over and I was counting for the road markers. It was like what I thought should have been two rows, one of them was in the middle. So I want to get with them and kind of see where they're going with that because if I do something wrong, it's going to mess up the whole thing. And they are off Yeah, that one that intentionally uh, should have, uh, you know, if you're standing here looking at it, it's running this way. Right. Should have been cut straight down the middle. Yeah. And then this is section and this is section. But uh, you know, that's neither here nor there now. But, uh, the rows are going to be extremely long in those, and mm -hmm. like I said, so well, and, it, and it rolls. It's not right. But the, the thing that's got me is when I'm standing there thinking I've got okay, here's here's six and here's seven. I've got a great right in the center. Of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. down there. So. Well, it looks good. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're going to talk about street closures, street closures for the Apple Festival that's coming up, and. Uh, uh, they are requesting that we close off West Street from Church Street to Spring Avenue and then Church Street to U.S. Highway 42 and 41 and then Spring Avenue from West Street to U.S. Highway 42 and 421. That's what's always shut off. It is. Yep. So it's a Church Street to U.S. 42, 42 and 421. Yep. Yeah, our usual, usual street yeah. closures. Everybody's okay with that? Yeah. Good start. All right. Do we have a motion? Good serves. I'll make that motion. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you, Dan. Did you want to include the hours you were going to have them? And yes, thank you. Uh, that will be Friday evening, uh, probably around 5 p.m. Uh, until Sunday around 5 p.m. And hope to see you all out. Hope we have good weather. And I'll, go. I'll be driving by then. Even better. <laughs> well, not on those streets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not that area. Driving. All right. Uh, now we are going to have the second reading of the rental licensing agreements. <coughs> Uh, this is the ordinance. We had the first reading last month. It is outlining uh, some uh, some 
guidelines for landlords to go by when they decide to be in the rental business in, in the city limits of Bedford? Um, and it, it, so now I've got this one was six. Do I also? Oh, that one, that one I meant to be six. That one was seven. Okay, great. Thank you for catching me. Yeah, that's all right. So City of Bedford, Kentucky, Ordinance Number 7, Series 2018. What I did um, is write the summary up because you can read it as a whole thing. And if you remember, it was kind of long last time. So I'll, uh, after I, I'll type this up and then I'll mail it to you. So this is the summary. Registration and Rental License Program. This ordinance establishes a rental licensing program uh, for the means of improving the quality of rental properties in Bedford, Kentucky. The ordinance defines the terms used in it. It sets forth to whom it applies, which is owner, occupied rental units, including rental units managed by government agencies. The ordinance states that no one can rent a, a, out a property in Bedford without first obtaining a rental license as set out in the ordinance. Rental licenses must be obtained within three months of a property being converted to include a rental unit. Applications are yearly, shall be made on the forms provided by the city. There will be a fee of $25 per rental unit for the license, and fees must be re re and, license, and license must be renewed yearly, and fees paid yearly. A new purchase of a rental unit requires a license within 90 days of the purchase. If the city determines any rental unit fails to meet the licensing standards or conditions, a non-compliance notice shall be mailed to the owner and conspicuously posted on the unit. The owner shall have 30 days to comply. If the deficiencies are not corrected, the rental license will be revoked and the occupants ordered to vacate. Notice shall be mailed to the owner and the ordinance sets out the specifics of what the notice must include. It will include a date, time, and place for a hearing in front of the Code Enforcement Board. The ordinance gives the Code Enforcement Board authority to conduct these hearings and make a final decision. An additional fee of $40 is required with any application of reinstatement of the rental license after a revocation. A violation shall, shall incur a fine of between $100 and $500 and the city shall also have the right to seek civil injunctive relief against anyone who rents a unit without a valid rental license, which means that we could ask them to leave the property or order them to, I guess. This, the uh, code enforcement officer shall conduct a yearly review of the program and submit an annual report to the Bedford City Commission. Health and safety threats can be cited in addition to in addition to the violation in the uh, citation for not having a rental license for our property. This summary is made pursuant to the authority of KRS 83A.060, um, subdivision nine. The ordinance becomes effective upon the final reading and publication. The full text of the ordinance is on file with the office of the Bedford City Clerk, where it may be inspected. Uh, it was introduced and read, uh, what did we say, 717? And publicly read the second time, today, 821. All right. Do y'all have any questions about it? Have we got anybody? Oh, we haven't posted it yet, right? And, and I believe uh, there's a thing in there that says 90 days mm -hmm. after the publication. Just like the uh, vacant it's property ordinance. And, and uh, well, let's finish this one first. <clears throat> this is another voice vote thing, but I need a motion. I make a motion. All right. And oh, second. Second. Thank you all. And uh, Tammy? Yay. John? Harold? New? And Yay. motion passes. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, on the, even on the vacant property, uh, ordinance. We, we have not been getting the registrations that I thought we would. Uh, so beginning uh, next week we're going to send out letters uh, to people that we know own certain vacant properties and uh, maybe we'll get some registered. Get them all registered, that's what we want. And uh, 
Maybe they'll put somebody in there. I don't know. That's the goal. So next week. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the Citizen Appreciation Day and the Halloween party. Uh, I have communicated with Poppies. They are good to go for that day. And uh, I have communicated with the library. They are going to do some things too on that day so that we have a you know, our full-blown thing with the hay rides and whatnot. Uh, I'm sure we'll enlist the help of uh, uh, one of our former commissioners, and let, unless Jim wants to drive the tractor. What day is going to be? August, October 27th. If I'm in town. Yes. <coughs> uh, remember they got their feelings in last year period. Yes. Talk. Yes. Talk. Absolutely. Talk. Right. Absolutely will. Mm -hmm. Local businesses would like to participate. And uh, but those, are, those are the two that I've got so far is the library and poppies. What about hometown? And, and I will what talk to everybody. Them. Yeah. I will talk to uh, Donna out there too because I'm sure they're going to want to participate. Uh, it's a nice big town party. All right. Uh, the next item, guys, is it is time to renew. Uh, CDs uh, at the Bedford Loan and Deposit Bank. I didn't write down the amounts. Uh, <coughs> yeah, if you could. The one for the cemetery CD, uh, both those are, I kind of wish I wrote those amounts. They were, I think they were 18 month CDs, maybe they were 12 months. 12 months. Yeah. Uh, which one is the cemetery? It is this one, and it is in the amount of eighteen thousand sixteen dollars and ninety cents. And tomorrow is the day on that one. And the other one for the depreciation reserve fund—that's uh, sewer stuff—is seventy-eight thousand one hundred three dollars and two cents. They won't have an interest rate until tomorrow. Right. I forgot what the interest rate is. And I guess the big question will be, do we want to do 12 months again uh, or 18 months? 18 months, we get better interest rates. Is the interest rate higher? No, not really. Not, really? not so much. I know the bank, some of them went up. Yeah. They got, you know, raise up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, not yet. Uh, so what do you all want to do? We're doing six more months and we, 18 we, months? Yeah. Would you like to make that motion? Yeah. Well, if we need that sewer, well, if we need some of the... You can catch that in time, right? Yeah, we lose money, you know yeah. that, but, but yes. Yes. Yeah, let's do it 18, then if right. we can, if it end an emergency, we have to get it. So we have a, is that a motion from you yes. and a second from yes. you, Tim? All right, and that's for both of them, folks? Yeah. All right. And all those in favor? Okay, fantastic. Thank you all for passing that. And uh, now I would uh, I would like to make a motion to go into executive session um, to discuss uh, personnel or litigation that may uh, come up for the city. Yeah. So we will go in the back room, folks. Do I have a second on that motion? I'll move a second. And all those in favor? Second. All right. This won't take long.